G'day, it's Hayley Carr here, coming to you from my little riverside cottage in Australia. Welcome to the Super Freak Podcast. I run a boutique coaching agency from right here, my farmhouse, with clients all over the globe. And in this show, I'm welcoming you into my world, into my home, and sharing the powerful philosophies, mindsets, and insights that make super talented, super freaky people able to create crazy good results sustainably, on repeat, and almost effortlessly, so you can do it too. These riffs are inspired by conversations with the incredible people that I coach every single day, which I've been doing for over a decade, and from my own experience as a world champion martial artist. I love destroying big ideas until they're teeny tiny bits of genius that you can take with you, understand, remember, repeat, and use to create miraculous results with ease. You'll learn here about what I call yin style leadership, keeping the spark and the polarity in your relationships, financial empowerment, slowing down to achieve more, and regenerative, sustainable success in any kind of high pressure, high achievement focused circumstances. So hold on to your hats, folks, and listen out for your insight of the day. I'm going to show you how to become immune to fear, failure, and feeble thinking. And before you know it, you'll be chasing down with ease and enthusiasm what you may have thought was impossible just yesterday. Let's dive in to today's episode. Hello, my friends. Welcome back to another episode of Super Freak. Today's episode, there are no rules, my friend. There are no rules. I have been having many conversations of late with clients who are talking to me, especially as we close out our class of 22 NLP training about how to create a coaching practice and what it needs to look like. And I'm having these beautiful conversations. My job isn't to tell anyone what to do, never is. It's to really mess with your thinking and to really look at what are the rules that we've made up about how business needs to look and how it kind of needs to go. And I think a lot of the time what's happening is we create by first looking outward at what others are doing, whether it's pricing or offering or the way that it's offered or the timing or, you know, how long it goes for whatever it might be, we kind of look outwards and then we create what it is that we want. And I really want to encourage you to think about creating authentically from yourself, from your own inner desires, wants, values, time, energy, body, what it is that you want, right? So when it comes to creating anything, I really want you to start thinking about letting go of the rules. And I'm going to use creating a coaching practice as an example, but this can really be applicable to absolutely anything. So when I first started my business, I really thought that I was not going to be able to do it because I saw so many examples of the same thing. And I didn't feel like I could be represented in any of those cases because when I started my business, I had really compromised energy. I was healing my body from chronic fatigue syndrome and um, just trying to learn how to do business and how to do coaching and and learning all the skills at the same time. It's just really overwhelming for me. And I started by following the instructions of what I had seen and heard before as to what to do, just to kind of dip my toe in the water and have a practice and see what could work. And I think this is really great advice for anyone. If there's something that has been suggested to you in terms of like how it's possible, you can start by doing that and see how it works and then adapt it and make it work for you. My point in saying there's no rules is it makes it kind of difficult when I teach is because I don't have a certain way of saying do X, then do Y, then do Z, because the truth is you don't need anything that you think that you need. You don't need a website. You don't need social media. You don't need all the things we get told that we need. And the reason why I know is because there are so many examples of the opposite being true. There are so many examples of folks who are doing the opposite of what we think we need, who are having great, wonderful success. And it's just beautiful proof for us that we don't need the things we think that we need. So when I started my business, like I said, I was not like really super well, but I wanted to practice my coaching. So what I did was what I had seen in front of me before, which was to do a breakthrough session with clients. And that was to start by going to their house 
and sitting with them for a good three to five hours and doing um, a deep questioning and then going through a bunch of my NLP tools. And I loved it. It was really successful. It was fantastic. But there were certain things that I did not love about that, Uh, namely the time and energy that it took me. I, in the beginning, because I was not very well, my energy was compromised. I was like sleeping for about two weeks after my sessions. Yes, that's not an exaggeration. You heard it right two weeks. My energy was very, very compromised at the time. So I had to find a way to make it work for me. I decided to change it up and make it that people came to my house. So rather than me driving all over Sydney, because that's where I lived at the time, that's how I started my business, driving to people's houses and spending like a lot of time in my car and in traffic, I invited people to come to my house. And I realized over time, I didn't like that either because I had to kick my then boyfriend out. I had to clean my house and I needed to make sure that I had enough time between appointments to kind of reset my home and have lunch and all that kind of jazz. It just didn't quite work for me because it was happening in my one bedroom apartment, which I didn't like. And then I rented an office for a little while, which I also found I didn't love because I had to drive there and I had to like, you know, make it work for me in terms of parking and timing and all that jazz. So I've tried many different things, right? And I'm talking about random structure here, but then it kind of filtered into my offering and, and how that worked as well. So you know, we're sort of taught, I think in various different coaching schools, this is kind of how it's done. This is how you would map out your sessions. This is how much it should be. This is how much time it would be. And, and we sort of base what we do off of that. But I have found more than anything that when I can tailor an experience for a client that suits me, it's a hell yes for me. And it's a hell yes for my client, just magic and chemistry can occur. So I started to notice after a while that I didn't really love coaching people in my home. I didn't love having to kick someone out of the home in order to do it and make sure it was all clean and, you know, manage the before and after time when the next client would come in and making sure that I wasn't talking too long at the end of the last session. So I had a break. It was just a lot. I decided to go online. Now this was back in 2012, right? So a long time ago and going online in 2012 meant using this thing called Skype and teaching people how to use this thing called Skype and how to download it. It was a pretty big deal. Then I decided I wanted to travel around the world. My dream was to travel and run my business from wherever I happened to be. I just thought it was the best thing ever. Didn't know anyone who was doing it, but found out that lots of people did it (laughs) after I started. Why do I say this? Why am I saying this? Because I have so many clients who say to me, oh, but like, aren't I supposed to work X amount of time, X a number of sessions? X this, X that. And I'm like, that is a fantastic way of working with people. And it's one way that you can work with people. There are a million and one ways of working with people. So I remember speaking to a potential client, someone who I just loved and was so inspired by, really wanted to work with, who said to me, you know what? I really just can't make it work. The timing, I can't do a long-term commitment. I can't work with you um, during those hours that you want to work because I have my own full-time job and it just does not allow allow me the time to be able to take time out and have a session with you. She said, I really want to work with you, but it's just not going to work in terms of the timing. Now, sometimes it's the case of that's when we just have to accept it might not work. It might not be the right thing because of timing and whatnot. But I happened to be going to Bali for a month in a couple of weeks following that conversation. And I love adventures and I love learning on adventures and I love being, you know, in learning environments and having inspiring conversations on adventures. And I loved this person. And I said to them, Hey, this is a really last minute thing, but if you are up for having an adventure, if you're the type of person who thinks, you know what, I would really love to learn in a condensed format, you know, like a year's worth of coaching in four days. And you'd like to have that many sessions in sort of four days. And you'd like to have an adventure with me and we could just do a complete breakthrough. Um, how would you like to come and meet me in Bali? And my client was like, hell yes, that sounds amazing. So I crafted a private retreat for myself and this person. And we did all the fun things. We ate out together. We visited different places. We visited waterfalls and my coaching happened in and around all of these adventures. And it was just the best. It was such a great experience. It was so fun. And it has inspired some of my current offerings today. But if I was really stuck in what the rules were about how it was supposed to be and how it was supposed to look based on what I learned 
when I first learned about the business of coaching, there's no way I would have offered that. There's no way my client would have been able to have the results that they had. There's no way my business would be where it's at today because today I'm able to craft something for the person in front of me based on what I know is my hourly rate, what I know my client would love, what would feel easy for them based on their life stage, the time they have, the energy they have, what they want, what they need, the timing that they want it to fit within. We can craft something incredible together that is tailor-made, right? Because there are no rules about how you can do coaching. So the best thing I can describe is another, another time this happened was It was actually back in 2019 and I was meant to be running an event and the event, we just kept trying to book the venues in it. It just kept on not working. There was lots of things going on and many, many roadblocks to being able to book this event. And I was really excited about the event. I was really disappointed that I couldn't do it. And I said to my um, business manager, I said, you know what? I would love, instead of creating this event, to create something completely new and an amazing experience where I can still have intimate connection with my clients, except I don't want anything on my calendar. And she was like, how are you going to do that? I said, I don't actually know. I really don't know. But imagine if we could create something incredible that was one-on-one and I didn't have to have anything in my calendar because I was traveling. I was traveling to Bali. I was traveling to Hawaii. And I just didn't like the idea of being locked into and looking at a screen for the rest of the year. So I remembered back in 2013 when I had been traveling and I had met a guy (laughs) and we had sort of developed a relationship and kind of fallen in love through this app called Voxer. And Voxer is a walkie-talkie app. It's kind of weird, right? But we would leave these like long rambling messages to each other about what was going on in our day, what was happening. And we would speak all the time through other modalities too. But it was such a beautiful way to feel like that person was with me in my pocket because of the way we could just talk and connect and share things kind of in the moment and then listen in our own time. It really felt like we were there, even though we were on other sides of the world. It was amazing. And so I remember having that memory and saying to my online business manager, hey, what if we created an offering that was Voxer coaching only, meaning I could, because I've had the feedback before from clients saying, I wish I could just have you in my pocket. I wish I could just have you in my pocket. I remember thinking, imagine if we could create that level of like intimacy and connection through an app like Voxer. So we created this offer that was a three-month container where I got to coach people, there was no, oh, there might've been one one one-on-one session with people who paid in full or something like that. Um, But there was no time in my calendar that anyone had booked. So I could be anywhere around the world. They could be anywhere around the world. It could be any time of day, day or night. I just checked in when it suited me. They checked in when it suited them. And we created the most incredible breakthroughs together, myself and my clients through this app that I didn't know existed until I dated someone. (laughs) Now, if I had been paying attention to the rules, that would not have come into play. And now, once again, it's a big part of my business is understanding like what really works for me and how I've managed to create connection, intimacy in different ways and my energy and like just tuning into my own life stage and what feels right. And then crafting and creating something for a client based on that. Now, I used to be someone who drove across the city and only worked with people in my city to do work that I learned how to do in a very specific way with them in that way. And I had beliefs that it needed to be in person. And for me to kind of shake up those beliefs and switch to it being on the phone and then on Skype and I could be in a different country to then walkie-talkie and there is literally no difference in the connection. In fact, it got even better the more aligned it was with what suited me and what I knew worked. Like that is so cool. That is so cool. So my invitation to you, my friend, as you listen to this, this might not have any, you might not be a coach. You might not be interested in being a coach. That's okay. It doesn't really matter. What matters is that you pay attention to what are your perceived rules about how this needs to go? What are your perceived rules about what it needs to look like and how it needs to be? I have coached people in hotel lobbies, on boats, under waterfalls, 
uh, in hotels, like in hotel rooms, in amazing places around the world through Voxer on the phone, on Skype, while I'm in a cafe, you know, all different kinds of ways and play. I've coached other people in cafes as well. I don't really advise that actually it just doesn't feel as intimate. I didn't love it at all. Coaching someone in a cafe didn't feel private enough for me. I just found it really, really helpful to consider what the rules were and consider if that is an actual rule, if that's really how it needs to be. And then ask yourself, what are the ways that I would really just crave to work with someone right now? What would be my dream experience? What are the dream experiences that other people have expressed to me that would really work for them? What are the ways that I love working with other people? What are the ways that really work with me based on my life stage and where I'm at? And I know that I've had so many clients who say, you know, I'm a mom. I don't have the physical capacity to have a full day of clients, you know, booked into my calendar, but I can do Voxer because I can do that in my own time. I can be checking in with clients and it's been phenomenal and fantastic because they've been able to work with clients who also really value that too. So the message today is there are no rules really. Sometimes we get taught what to do and how to do it and we think in a fixed mindset like that's the way it's got to be and it's just not true. And in fact, the more that you can create outside of those rules while still keeping the parts that are important, such as intimacy, connection, adventure, being able to have breakthroughs, privacy, you know, whatever it might be for your unique business and your unique situation, the more you can create from that place, the more you will be able to create or the more likely you are to create something incredibly outstanding, long lasting, memorable, something that people will absolutely treasure and truly value. And it will be a standout experience. Now, that's not to say that what you have learned is wrong in any way. I know that you know that's not what I'm saying. And sometimes the like the fundamental way is just the best way to go because it's easy, it works, it's a great way to start, it's a w- great way to get kicked off. This is more for you if you're going, you know what, I'm ready to explore something new or you know what, I've entered a new life stage and it just, it just doesn't feel exciting to me anymore. It doesn't feel like the way I want to work with people. Please remember there aren't really any set rules and you can have an incredible experience by looking at your own life stage, your own values, your own desires, your own way that you would love to experience something and crafting the thing that you most crave. That's pretty much my answer to every time someone says, how do I do this? Or should I do this? I always say there are no rules. So that's our episode for today. Thank you so much for being here once again. I really value you. I appreciate you tuning in and listening and sharing and commenting and DMing me about your insights. I would love to hear if you've had any insights from this too. Hopefully it gives you permission to try something wild and new and fun and exciting for yourself, whether that be inside of your business or your personal life. I hope that you will apply that no matter where you are. If growing a coaching practice and learning some coaching skills or or growing and developing, expanding your craft as a coach is something that you're interested in, then I do recommend you check out Be Your Own Coach NLP Immersive, my certification programming for understanding the human subconscious mind. It's a six-month certification with me. It starts in January 2023, and we're opening the doors in November. You can get on the wait list at hayleycar.tv forward slash NLP dash training. In the meantime, thank you so much for listening. If you love this episode, if you know of someone who could really use a little rule breaking in their life, please share it with them wherever it feels good for you to do so. Remember my friend, everything you want is so much closer than you think. It just takes a little bit of rule breaking, a little bit of creativity, a little bit of allowing yourself to come back to what would feel the best for you. So stay curious, stay open, and I'll see you in the next episode. Ciao. Thank you so much for being here and listening in with me today. I'm really grateful to be gracing your ears. Of all the things you could be listening to right now, you're right here with me. So thank you. Now, I'd love to hear from you. What was your one insight of the day? How are you going to apply it? Why not tell me in a review? If you know someone who would love this, please do share it with them. It's the best kind of compliment. So you could take a screenshot, you could tag me on Instagram and be that super freak who shares what's working for you with your world. And if you want more, 
you might like to check out my website, hayleycar.tv. It's linked in the notes. It's there. You can find out about all the ways we can play even more together. And you can also get a free copy of my book and download a free copy of the Super Freak Self-Coaching Scorecard 2, which a lot of people are having a lot of fun with right now. Remember, everything you want is so much closer than you think. So stay curious, stay open and say yes. I'll see you soon.